some storm related news. It's been a few weeks, you know, the off season still kind of creeps along. We're slowly approaching free agency um, and getting through that period. And the draft is a little bit later as well. Uh, but we do have some news uh, regarding, you know, at least maybe one potential player coming back. On the 16th, the team extended a qualifying offer to forward Joiner Holmes. Holmes signed a contract through the rest of the season with the Storm on June 3rd this past year. It was technically her second stint with the Storm. Uh, Holmes had been brought in in the draft uh, by Seattle and but didn't stick and has been with four other teams before coming to Seattle. It was a funny occurrence because Holmes was with the Sparks this season and played a game against the Storm. And then a few days later, she was put on waivers and the Storm brought her in. So it was kind of a funny turnaround. Um, you know, as a forward, you know, she brings some good versatility offensively, can stretch the floor a little bit, can shoot the three ball, uh, provide some length defensively uh, for this Storm team which, you know, helps Seattle throughout the season wanted to talk about being a good defensive team, you know, defense turning into offense. That was something that we heard throughout the course of the season as media, whether it was from Coach Quinn, from Jewel Lloyd, from, again, most of this team. Um, she showed some good flashes uh, after signing with the Storm, kind of saw her minutes go down uh, as the season went on, and you saw some other players get increased minutes uh, with uh, a few of the other players like Ivana Dojkic leaving, Gabby Williams being hurt. There was, you know, roster shuffling was was wild for the Storm last season, obviously, in that, uh, that year. But she showed some flashes. She showed some really good flashes. It was great to see that versatility offensively for a Storm team that, you know, if Jewel Lloyd wasn't going offensively, they relatively struggled for most games. Um, so having different options, having the ability to look different places for offense was great. Uh, it'll be very unique to see. I talked to a few folks in the storm press court to see if she's able to carve her way in to a, a spot, a real spot this year with this team. Obviously, uh, you know, the storm have a few players they need to add to be a competitive playoff team this year, but they have, you know, I've been very positive and very optimistic about the storm roster. Really liked what Jordan Horson brought as a rookie defensively and on the offensive end as she gained confidence throughout the course of the year. We know how great Jewel Lloyd is and what she's able to bring. Ezzy Magbagor continues to take steps forward. You know, you're going to have Sammy Wood come back. The impact she brings offensively, uh, the veteran mindset that she's able to bring. Kia Nurse, we saw her and what she's able to bring as a scorer, you know. So it's going to be very – I really like what I saw from Jade Melbourne as well, And as we'll talk about uh, – Melbourne, sorry. Uh, we'll talk about her in a second as well. Um, so – I saw positive flashes. Obviously, you're going to need to add some veterans, going to need to add, you know, some bigger names uh, if you're going to be com uh, more competitive this year. But I, I have hope. I have hope and I have optimism. So we'll go from there. Uh, we do have some news regarding international play uh, for some of our Storm players here. Three current Storm players and one former uh, were named to Australia's Olympic qualification squad. Ezzy Magbogor, Sammy Whitcomb, uh, Jade Melbin, and storm legend lauren jackson it's incredible to see that she's still playing um we're all named to australia's squad that will be trying to qualify for the olympics that will be really fun to see um that tournament is going to be in brazil next month uh so the seven consulting opals will take on germany serbia and brazil next month so it'll be interesting to see the opals um as they go to battle there um I know that former Storm player uh, Steph Talbot was in some of the rosters leading into this squad being named, uh, but she did not ultimately end up making uh, the final roster here that these former Storm players did. So from that, we also got one more uh, January 22nd this morning. Guard Jewel Lloyd was named to USA Women's Basketball's February training camp roster. It's a three-day camp taking place in Brooklyn, New York. Uh, former Storm players Brianna Stewart, well, former Storm player Brianna Stewart, I was hoping that one day Kelsey Plum would be a Storm player, but uh, former Washington Husky Kelsey Plum was also named to this roster as well. So I mean, obviously considering the, the year that Jewel Lloyd has and the talent that Jewel Lloyd has, the skill year in and year out makes sense to see that as well. So that's what we've got in terms of Storm-related news.